What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Well, today I'm probably gonna do something that I thought I wasn't gonna do before. That little grill thing that I had in the back of the car. I'm gonna go ahead and install it because, well, it's a nice day. I don't really have much to do and I just want the car to look good. At least halfway decent factory stock. I get tired of my car looking broken and bruised up. Initially we had to do something on this side. We had to tighten some stuff up, get everything dialed in because I was having a little bit of sounds. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that, but we got that taken care of and I figured we might as well jump on this side since we fixing stuff and deal with that. I'm gonna try to make this fastest job. Yo, that, that gun is weak, I ain't gonna hold you. It be moving fast though, but it be yeah, weak. shit is loose though. Yeah. I might as well do the, the level sensor now that the wheel's off. I fit it on for now, so it's back on. What, is it a screw or not? It's, it's a clip, it should be clipped on. Oh, no, that's me. All right. See how you, boom. Oh, good. Access, you see that? So you said the underneath and then the So there should be tens underneath. Yeah, mine is just push pins though. Are they? Yeah, because I oh, that push was pins the, and that was off the 330, so it might be different on here. Nah, you know what it is? They were originally tens, but I had my front lip and that's what it came with. Mm -hmm. I think they were supposed to be these. That's why I have mad extra of these. Do you have a Phillip? Phillips screwdriver? Yeah, it's like a Torx. Like I bought a set for that. Damn. Yeah, I get them. Yeah, I get them on uh, with, with the snow so they know we outside. You know, freezing right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> see our front lips. I see our front lips be missing though, because as much scrapage I have down here. Mm -hmm. You gotta remember, you have the lower springs. Oh yeah, it was lower springs. Coming out? Oh. All right, hold on. The grill. Mm, yeah, it's bolted in on one side. So it's bolted in right here. Okay. But we should be good once we take that off. I don't see no other. It looks like it all comes out as one unit. Okay. BMW, bro. Bro, what? Who are you telling? I don't even know where half these damn screws go. <laughs> all right, now it should be good. Hold on. Nah, we ain't got to go that far. It's connected. We're connected. It goes all the way down there. Right here. Right here. There we go. Should have let the dealer do it. It's going to take like 500. Yeah, we're right. But then we got to remove this. Yeah. We, had a, we broke a parcel, we had to order this. <laughs> That's what they're doing to me right now. Damn, right here. This well, not one. even that far. Just, just one over here. Push that one down. Hey, hey, excuse me, guys. Sorry to interrupt you, but my friend wanted me to help him fix his tire. Mm -hmm. Whatever, long story short, he has no jack and he'll pay to fix a tire and he said he'll bring it to me. And I see you doing it. So I figured if you want to make some extra bucks, he'd bring the car and you fix the tire. He has everything except the jack. Nah, we, right. we, yeah, we got a lot, we got a lot going on right now, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize, my bad. Nah, Sorry, it's all good. No problem, problem, man. All right. Good luck. Hey. What's up? It, don't, it ain't coming all the way out? Just the sensors on. Oh, so you can just twist so it this way. Like that? Yeah, just make sure you don't hit it on the paint. We good. Yeah. Woo! Yo, look at that. Mm. Dirty yeah. There you go. Wow. <laughs> One piece down. It <laughs> worked. Oh, was lost it. <laughs> so now everything that's on gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Just that piece there. Oh, it's one time use. Oh, so you have you to gotta break it? it. Yeah, look, you gotta break it. That's what this is for. This has to break. Look. Well, you're taking it off anyway, so fuck it. 
It has to break. You know what made me realize that? Because now you see this is broke, you have the room to pinch up and push out now. Stand. <laughs> I think it's a one use. Yeah, I mean, well, it's one use now. <laughs> Yo, thank this guy right Yo, here. <laughs> anytime, bro, anytime. Hey, you want this back? <laughs> Dang. All right, so now we just got to swap over the stuff and everything should clip in. Hopefully. It's right here. Boom. Side side. Yo, these are two different colors, no? This is, um, well, I mean, this is dirty, though. But it's yeah, like a matte. Is... It's darker. Or it's the same color. I mean, it's darker, but I think it's just dirty with grease on it. Oh, because this, it won't match. It might just be dirty. It's just dirty. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna drop the video anyway, but I don't do not use this as a tutorial, bro. Don't, yeah, don't. We we did a lot. Hold on, let's let's walk through what we did first before we clip everything back on. So first and foremost, take the wheel off, everything under the shield. All this shielding has to come off. You have two eight mils right here. Right there to pop this off. Be careful. Don't scratch the inner side with that. Uh this was a pain because you gotta take this off right here. So underneath the bumper, you have three of these little tab things. Everything has to come off. There's a bunch of different tabs like this that make it real, real difficult to um, remove. But anyway, this got to come out the way. Make sure you disconnect the sensor like we did, which is dangling right here on the parking sensors. Let me clip this back. Oh, thanks. And uh, yeah, you get that. Car looks damn near totaled. But those things are locked all together. Oh. Here we go, guys. We finally got the job done. Pardon me, the sun is like directly in my eyes. But yeah, we finally got the job done. Look, five seconds after the install and I already hit a freaking snow thing. That could have been how it, I don't know, could have been. Look at over this side, it looks exactly identical, but you can tell this one's a little bit dirty. Almost so that I thought that this was a whole different color being at its gloss, but I guess the car just really needs to get washed now. But we also took care of something on this side is making a clunk sound I took care of that as well and the headlight level sensor we patched that up too so everything is 100 percent on this car right now there's no clunks there's no ring -a ding dingies there's no uh, function lights there's the grill there is nothing wrong i don't think you guys understand how happy i am that the car is back up with zero freaking issues bro and they were small issues we got them all fixed gotta give a shout out to my guy jerry because honestly if it wasn't for him i've been dealing with a few things lately he ended up pulling me out the house and just you know get my mind off of it taking me out and we actually made a pretty 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 dope video now speaking of jerry we dropped the install video of his uh dining exhaust and a couple sound clips and 99.9% .9 of the feedback was great. I appreciate you guys. Definitely go keep liking those videos and check them out. Just check them out if you guys haven't and consider subscribing, subscribing as well. But I got a comment and I, and I really want to touch base on it. Some comments, some guys said you guys drive $50,000 cars and you guys can't afford to pay the exhaust guy $500 to do the job, right? Let me pick this comment apart. Number one, if you paying someone $500 for what we did, you're crazy. That is, honestly, I would not pay more than like 
No, I wouldn't pay anything for it because I, I just want to do it myself. You know, one thing about us car guys is that we enjoy working on our cars. Now, sometimes it does make more sense to drop it off at a shop, but honestly, it wasn't that cold for us and we were just so excited to get the exhaust on that we didn't really care. Now, personally, I don't really feel like I had to explain myself to people, but I just want everybody to kind of understand why we're out here doing what we're doing. We're doing it because we love it. And if you are willing to pay $500 to get that job done, shh, you might as well hit me up because I will, I will definitely accept $500 for that. I'm joking. I'm not for hire. But like I said, man, we out here, we doing it because we enjoy it money doesn't mean anything and to just spin off of that you can do other things with the five hundred dollars to be 100 percent honest with you you can go grab a girl go out to eat or grab your girl whatever case may be and go out to eat and spin that and feel good because at the end of the day you're going to give that five hundred dollars to the the guy at the shop or whatever and now you did it yourself a true diy true man uh, and women you know don't matter if you diy you diy and you go ahead and you you treat yourself maybe you could buy another car part you understand what I'm saying? Maybe you could invest it into the market. Maybe you could just blow it on strippers. It's, it's whatever you want to do because it's your money. But I'll tell you one thing that I, I wouldn't do, and that's pay somebody to put the exhaust on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and just understand, purpose of my channel is to not show how much money I have by paying $500 for uh, exhaust work done. This channel is also not a tutorial channel to show you guys exact steps. We make mistakes. There are bumps and bruises. Sometimes we do a job and we say, hey, listen, maybe it could have waited or we break some things along the way. And I think that's why I make videos because I just show the realness of it. You got Keys, shout out to Brian who does amazing DIYs. Thick Whips, John, amazing DIYs. What's your forte, G80 DIYs, amazing, step by step. I will quicker recommend you to their videos. My channel might just not be the best one, but I will show you me doing it and some of the problems that you might come into it. You know, figuring out what to do and what not to do, because I probably will show you what not to do. Uh, but like I say, man, just enjoy yourself. Guys, stay out here, have some fun. Mike from Slow Speed, peace out.